Uh, this person is asking the question, is Prophet Muhammad and whom be peace mentioned anywhere in the Hindu scripture? The question posed was, is Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him mentioned in Hindu scriptures? Yes, he's mentioned several places and he's mentioned several times. For example, if you read Bhavishya Purana, it's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhya 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, it says that a Malaysia will come, whose name shall be Muhammad, he'll come along with his companions. And Raja Boj, after giving this Mahadev Arab a bath in the Panjikarv, he will pay obeisance to him and say that, O oh, pride of humankind, you have created a great force to fight against the devil. The Sanskrit word Malaycha means a foreigner. It says a foreigner, a spiritual teacher will come, whose name shall be Muhammad. He'll come along with his companions. And Raja Boj, after giving the Mahadev Arab a bath in the Panjgar, meaning that he was purified, he will give him respects and say, O oh, pride of humankind, you have collected a great force. Pride of humankind, we know that Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, which says, Verily in the messenger you'll find the most beautiful pattern of conduct. Based on this, if you analyze, this refers to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And it says that he shall kill the devil, that means the evil force. Further, if you read in Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhita 3, Shloka 10 to 27, it says that Arya Dharma is not to be found. That the Pishachas has spoiled the foolish land of the Arabs. Arya Dharma is not to be found. There was the enemy who was sent earlier, who I had killed, but now he has been sent by a more powerful enemy. And Almighty God says, O Pishacha, you need not go to the land of the Arabs to be purified. I, through my kindness, will purify you here. And in the angelic disposition, the man says, I have been sent by Ishwar Paramatma to enforce a creed of meat eaters. And my follower shall be a person who is circumcised, who keeps a beard, who doesn't have a tail on his head, having a shindy. He will eat all lawful things. He shall not have the flesh of swine. And he shall give the azan, the call for prayers. And he shall fight against the irreligious people. And he will be called as Musliman. He shall enforce a creed of meat eaters. This prophecy refers to no one but the beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That his followers shall be a person who is circumcised. We Muslims are circumcised. He will not have a tail on his head. That's a shandy. We Muslims don't have it. We shall sport a beard. We Muslims will sport a beard. And further it says that this person, the prophet, the beloved prophet, he shall enforce a creed of meat eaters. And we Muslims do have non -witch. He's mentioned in several prophecies. The Lord Prophet has also mentioned Kuntab Sukta. He's also mentioned in Sam Ved, in Rig Ved. Time doesn't permit us to go into the details. You can refer to my video cassette, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in the various world religious scriptures. Hope that answers the question. Uh, thank you, Brother Zakir.